So let's just talk about the two big ones, financing and home inspection. So with the return of conditions over the last uh, year or two, we are seeing buyers getting their financing condition put in, they're getting their home inspection condition put in, and in some cases, the sale of a buyer's property. So let's just talk about the two big ones, financing and home inspection. Those are the two that you're gonna see more than perhaps a home sale condition or a status certificate if you're purchasing a condo. But let's just focus on the, the two that we see mostly, financing and inspection. So financing is basically you have put an offer on a property subject to you getting a mortgage, a satisfactory mortgage. So let's say for example, everything goes well, the bank approves your deal, but the only thing the bank is asking for is an appraisal of the property. So the bank may just say, hey, by the way, we'll give you the money, but we just want to evaluate the property to make sure you're not overpaying for it and we'll be funding that overpaid property. So the bank may come out and let's say, for example, you are purchasing the property for $700,000 and the bank may come out and say, hey, you know what? We've done an evaluation. Our appraiser has said that the property is worth six fifty. dollars so you have two options. First of all, you have the ability to contest that, at which point if the appraisal does come back a little bit low, then your broker should reach out to your realtor and the realtor should be able to support comparables as to where that pricing came from and perhaps um, have the appraiser reevaluate his appraisal or her appraisal. So you can certainly contest it. Number two is the buyer should be prepared to pay the difference. That is something that every buyer should be aware of. If you're if you're paying 700,000 for the property and you've committed to that, you've taken out your conditions and all of a sudden the bank comes back and says it's worth 650 because they've done a last minute appraisal because it was a longer closing, which sometimes happens with a longer closing, banks sometimes do an appraisal very close to the closing. So if the bank comes back and says it's worth six fifty, you got a fifty thousand dollar deficit there. You as a buyer are responsible to pay that difference. But like I said, you can certainly try to contest it. Now let's talk about home inspections. Let's say a whole bunch of stuff comes up in the property that you did not expect, that you didn't see at the time of your viewing. You've got a few options. Number one, you can just accept the defects for what they are and proceed with the deal. Now some people do that depending on. You know, if there's somebody behind them that's saying, hey, if you don't secure this deal, if you don't move forward with this, we're going to jump in. And so that pressure's on that buyer. So that buyer may just suck it up and be like, okay, I'll proceed. So that is one, you can accept it. Number two is you can still walk away from the house, especially if it's conditional. So if there's bigger issues there that, you know, that scare you and you don't want to proceed with the deal, you still have the right to walk away. Um, number three, and this is a course that most people do if something does come up, let's say there's mold in the attic, you've got a couple of different options. One, you can have the seller fix it prior to closing and provide your paperwork that has been done correctly. Or number two is you can reduce the price um, to be reflective of how much money it's going to cost to get the, uh, the work completed. So there's different options for different scenarios with conditions. If you wanna proceed with the deal, speak with your agent and just say, look, you know, here's the obstacle that we've run up against. What is it that we can do to continue to move the deal forward? And I think what you'll find is the agent will come up with pretty good creative solutions and how to get the deal done. Anyways, those are just some of the things that I wanted to continue to keep you educated about. I hope you're well. See you guys.